Hello, fellow crypto and mining community members. Max Voltage here. Uh, Going to take you through a trip through my mining farm today. Uh, I have not really shown this. I've shown bits and pieces in different videos, but I'm going to take you through each one of my rigs, show you how much hash rate I've got uh, and everything I've got going on all in one video. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing I've got is the first rig I built. And this particular rig has uh, on the right hand side is the 5600 XT. I've got it on a stand that I had built by a friend of mine locally. I uh, got the design from Thingiverse. Uh, there's a number of different designs on Thingiverse, but I picked one and it's done well. It holds it up straight. As long as the card's not too heavy, it does well. So that's the 5600 XT. All the other ones that are in the frame, this is a, uh, a sluice frame from AAA Wave. Um, but the two on the right are Gigabyte 5700 XTs, and the four on the left are all Sapphire Pulse 5700 XTs. The motherboard is a Zotac, the, the Zotac mining motherboard, B250, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I only wish I'd bought these a lot more of these when they were available. I bought it for less than $30. Now these things are going for $100, $200, crazy amounts of money. And then I've got it running, half of it's running on a server power supply. Well, actually more than half of it's running on a server power supply. And the rest is running on this 750 watt ATX power supply. All of it's running on, is running on 240 volt. So I made that switch. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. But so they've got, like I said, four 5700 XTs with our Sapphire Pulse, two that are Gigabyte, and then the 5600 XT on the right. And on the left, this is a 1660 Ti that is a Gigabyte, I believe. No, I'm sorry, that's Asus Strix, actually, on that one. Now, this is a recent addition um, in order to get the heat out of the basement. And my wife actually made this, and I'll be making a video about this in a little while. I'm um, hoping to get it out uh, no later than Monday. But uh, basically, she cut out a piece of plywood, fit it to the same size as the window, did weather stripping and such, and she cut out a hole in the middle to mount the fan. Uh, also put weather stripping on that to make sure it didn't rattle, and then attached this latch to latch it into place with a, a indentation there's three indentations up here so basically just used what we had and it works phenomenally vacates the heat in the basement very very well and then this cord is hooked up to a th uh, thermostat which you can see right there um, so when this basically hits a certain temperature the fan goes on and i change this depending on what the temperature is outside to make sure that that the heat from the basement heats the house so like last week when it was 65 outside december in the chicago area 65 crazy i had this set at 73 degrees to try to vacate as much heat as possible and it was still 73 degrees in the house so but when it gets cold like around 30 degrees then i boost this thing up to like 77 or 78 degrees and I'm sure when it gets colder, I'll boost this thing up to about 80 degrees and let it get warmer down here so that it helps distribute more heat to the rest of the house. So this rig that I'm about to show is my second rig. And this is all uh, mostly 3060 Ti's except for one 3070, which I believe is tucked back in the corner. So you got EVGA, three fan version, two fan version, and then my wonderful Zotac. And then I have two KOs, a couple of Tufts. I think I have three Tufts, two 3060 Ti Tufts and one 3070 Tuff. And then this is being powered because this is a RebTech. Uh, you can see that there's a RebTech board right back here, right there. You can see the RebTech board. So it's powered by two server power supplies. Moving on to my next rig. This is my NVIDIA rig. So this is where, where my wife got famous, uh, where she got three 3060 Ti's in one uh, fell swoop. So here are the three right here that she got. 
And then on the far left is a 3070 uh, FE NVIDIA that my daughter got at a Best Buy drop as well for me. Then I've got a couple of, I've got one 1660 Ti, uh, that's a gigabyte. And then I have this Asus Strix uh, 3060 Ti that I recently uh, picked up uh, at uh, Micro Center. And I have a 3060 uh, Black from EVGA that I picked up from the queue, and then a 3060 Ti. So I've got three LHR cards in this particular rig. And this one is all powered by this 2000 watt power supply, Lee and Lee power supply. And you can see, obviously you can see those beautiful GPU risers. Now this is my fourth rig. This one is mainly my 3070 Ti rig. So I have my three for the win three 3070 Ti's looking all beautiful on top. You can see I'm using the chump change GPU stands and they work great. They support the 3070 Ti's quite well. Um, so that's that works out really, really well. And then in the front here, you've got three more 3070 Ti's, but these are the XC3 versions of the 3070 Ti's. And then I've got two 3060 EVGA 3060 Ti's in the back. And you can see I've got these all offset. So I've got two cards, one card on top, one card and the um, RevTech, because this also was run by RevTech, and then two more, and then another card. So everything's offset. So I love the way this rig looks. Absolutely love it. All right, let me bring up the one last thing. I forgot to put it in a different video because I forgot to shoot it. And this is my Raptorium rig. Now this one is actually below the rig we were just looking at. So I'm mining Raptorium on a 5950X on this board, which is a MSI uh, gaming Mac, something like that. Uh, it's the one that Rabbit Mining has been using for most of his uh, CPU mining builds. Uh, works great. And then I also have two 584 gigs that do have a special place in my heart. So I am mining um, Ravencoin with those two particular ones. And I have this whole rig running off this 850 uh, watt power supply that uh, was basically, I, I got this in a combo deal from Newegg. I won two Newegg uh, shuffles. One was a motherboard that I sold to a fellow community member. And this one I actually kept. And I'm glad I did because it works out really, really well with this particular rig. So those are all of my rigs. Let's just show it a little bit more so you can get a better look at those two cards. Uh, those are Sapphire Pulse, I believe. I know they're Sapphire. No, actually, they're Sapphire Nitro. Sorry, not Sapphire Pulse. Sapphire Nitro RX 580s. So I also have three other uh, computers in the house. Uh, my computer basically gets about 43 mega hash on the 3070 LHR. My wife's computer has the 3060 version one with beta driver, so it's doing 48.9. And then we have a workout computer in the basement, um, and it also is a 3060 V1 with beta driver, and it's doing 49.9. So you add up all the hash rates. So that first rig, that first AMD rig, was at about 412.7 mega hash. The RevTech is at just over 501. That's the one with uh, all 3060 Ti's and 13070. Rig 2, that's the one with the NVIDIA FE cards. That one is totaling 406.4 mega hash. And then the RevTech 2 with all the 3070 Ti's uh, plus two 3060 Ti's, but all LHR cards uh, is getting 453.7. Um, so again, all that added up is 1,915, so close to that coveted two giga hash. So hoping that uh, I can get a card or two more and get there. Also, as I mentioned, uh, the Raven, I have the two uh, RX 580s on there, um, getting 29 total uh, mega hash on Raven. 
And then I also have two rigs, my computer with a 5600X and then the rig with the 5950X are also mining Raptorium. So the total number of devices I have is 37 GPUs, uh, two CPUs uh, that are actually mining. I've got more, I've got uh, two more CPUs that I'm not mining with. Um, and I also have a helium miner, which does quite well. You know, the worst I've done on any given day has been 0 0.2 helium, which alone is, is good. But like over the period of a month, I'm making between 10 and 11 helium per month. So, uh, yeah, can't forget that one. That's that definitely helps out. And uh, helium should be unaffected by the merge. So I'll be happy when uh, when the merge comes that I still have the helium miner making some money for me, hopefully. Anyway, that was what I just wanted to go over. I wanted to take you through a trip through my farm. I should also mention with that fan, I have a window across uh, the basement that also opens. It's the escape one that has a screen in it already. So that's my intake, and I just basically pull air through there via negative pressure when the fan goes on. So when the fan's not on, yes, cold does come in through there, but not anywhere near uh, as much um, because of the pressure. So anyway, alrighty, guys. Well, if you have any questions about my setup, feel free to put comments down below. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos just like this. Alrighty guys, thanks a lot and you guys have a good day.